Hey there, guys. So today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of John. Uh, thank you so much for the trade, and thank you. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, this is Building 8 Brewing. So uh, this is a brewery that I've never heard of. Uh, it's actually in Western Massachusetts. Uh, I believe it's called Northampton. Uh, this is their IPA, 6.5%. It actually is called the IPA. Uh, so they don't have any funny name. It's just Building 8, the IPA. 6.5% uh, brewed with uh, Simcoe, Citra, and mosaic and actually uh, before I dig in just talking about the label it actually looks pretty elegant and nice so it's not bad design uh, but I will say it's pretty like it's like um, it's just like like middle of the road kind of design it's it's well done but it's sort of, sort of like doesn't really show off the brewery very well uh, typeface is pretty basic and it just has a bunch of hops going on it's a really pop like oh that's a building eight can like it just doesn't do that for me but again I'm not familiar with the brewery but even then if I saw it on the shelf I wouldn't like pop out like Oh, this, I clearly recognize what the brewery is because of that. So anyway, that's my random little uh, discussion about and rant about design. Um, I, I always love design in craft beer. So uh, anyway, we're talking about the beer. Let's see again. Uh, beer's pretty nice, yeah. Uh, beer comes in a medium deep gold color, a little bit of haze on that. Again, I've, I've actually noticed the lights are really like shining this way, and I like my, the SRM that I notice is a little bit too bright sometimes, so I try to dig away. Uh, again, don't shine your beers right in the light, because you're not going to get the proper light source. Uh, it's going to be a different kind of lighting, so just dig away at the light. L away at the light, it's a darker color. Let's get the wrong with this. Mm, very nice. Um, I get a little bit of that like Simcoe dankness, a little bit of the pine. I'm also probably getting a little bit of that mosaic kind of blueberry quality. Very nice. And it just like is very citrusy, uh, grassy. Mm, wow, it's a wonderful like melding of just like lots of things going on. It's a little cat ish It's a little piney. It's a little bit grapefruity. So leaning towards a little bit tropical. It's a little bit mango -y. It's a little bit like bready. It's, it's just like all these kind of things, and it, it actually has a little bit of that kind of oniony thing, but also that really intense kind of like happy dank quality. Cheers. Very nice. Well executed IPA. Up front. Hit with that kind of like dank quality. It sort of turns on the palate, gets you a little bit of, gets you there a little bit. Um, uh, you get a nice driving kind of pine quality. Overwhelming theme is pretty nice. It has a nice kind of grapefruity, uh, familiar kind of West Coast kind of IPA thing, but it is nice and gentle. A little bit of bready sweetness, uh, bitterness not overtaking. So again, this is sort of that kind of like East meets West kind of uh, IPA kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. you're getting those kind of like Simcoe piney kind of notes and um, a little bit of like bitterness on there. But there's actually not too much bitterness on the finish. It just has that kind of heaviness of like pine and a little bit of dank and cat pee. And it does have like a reasonable kind of like medium, um, kind of bready and biscuity kind of sweetness to it. Uh, but then it drives away quite nicely. So it does sort of have like uh, both things going on and transitions very well. So for West Coast uh, beer lover, you're gonna like this because it has those familiar flavors up front, but then it also has that kind of clean kind of back uh, bone. It, re it really has a wonderful kind of like um, a nice and creamy mouthfeel. Uh, very nice, yeah. Well executed. I really like this beer. Um, it leans a little bit West Coasty, so it, it executes that quite well. And it actually has that kind of haze to it too, so it like plays, again, both parts very well. Not the most explosive on the palate. Um, you know, just really good flavors lingering on and on. Uh, let's go with a 93 on this one. 94. 94. This is a good beer. Building 8, the IPA uh, from uh, Northampton, Massachusetts. Really well executed IPA. Very impressed with this one. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know if you know more about the brewery later.